Tonight, Monday Night Raw takes place once again from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida, inside the WWE Thunderdome. Now, of course, this is actually quite interesting when it comes to the Thunderdome, because actually the last Monday Night Raw that we're going to see in this version of the WWE Thunderdome, because of course... Uh, on Friday Night Smackdown this week, we're seeing the debut of the new revamped WWE Thunderdome inside Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. So this is going to be interesting that this is actually the last time Monday Night Raw, the red brand, is going to take place inside the Thunderdome <clears throat> in uh, in Orlando, Florida at the Amway Center. So that is going to be very interesting. Uh, the match we're going to talk about here is one of the matches announced for tonight's show. We've had like two things announced for the show so far. It's once this three-on-two handicap match and a Firefly Funhouse segment. We're actually going to do another preview video for the Firefly Funhouse segment, so be sure to check that out. But we're going to talk about here is the three-on-two handicap match. Specifically, WWE Champion Drew McIntyre teaming up with his good friend Sheamus, his buddy Sheamus, to take on the team of John Morrison and Mr. Money in the Bank, The Miz and AJ Styles. Now, of course, at TLC, later on this month, Drew McIntyre will be defending the WWE Championship against AJ Styles. Initially, it was rumored that this was just a singles match, but over the last couple of days, I don't know if you've noticed this, quietly, a stipulation has been added. It is now a TLC match for the WWE Championship. Yes, we have two. Count them two. Tables, ladders, and chairs matches for the WWE Championship, which is strange. Very strange to me because historically when it comes to WWE and these kind of deals, when they first started introducing the whole gimmick pay-per-views, if, if I recall correctly, and I might be wrong, but if I recall correctly, the deal was is that these gimmick pay-per-views you had a tables match, you had a ladders match, you had a chairs match, and you had a TLC match. And that was four gimmick matches for the pay-per-view. That was what was exciting, as you saw not only a TLC match at the pay-per-view, but a variety of the concepts uh, that make up the TLC match, whether it was tables, ladders, or chairs. It even did a year where it was stairs. That was a stairs match. It was that Big Show versus Eric Rowan. Tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. Remember that? That was awful. <laughs> that was so bad. Nevertheless, we've got two TLC matches, which is odd. Now, I'm not criticizing that because to be honest the two TLC matches that have been announced one's Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship brilliant second is Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship in the TLC match both matches are going to be fantastic I mean I'm not really complaining about that I'm not really I'm not really complaining about it overall my only thing I'm just kind of thinking about when it comes to this is two TLC matches for on one show just seems a bit odd I would prefer that this be the ladder match, the AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre match. Just something a bit different, freshen it up. Nevertheless, I'm excited for the match at TLC. I don't think, I think universally everyone would probably say AJ Styles isn't going to become the WWE champion. This match and this storyline serves as a purpose for Drew McIntyre. The whole point of this feud and storyline and match with AJ Styles at TLC is to get Drew McIntyre his momentum back. What do I mean by that? Well, Drew McIntyre prior to Survivor Series, the week of Survivor Series, won the WWE Championship from Randy Orton. We had the Randy Orton experiment where Randy Orton was going to be the WWE Champion, face Edge at WrestleMania, have an I quit match. Those plans look to be off the table. Looks like we're going to get Randy Orton versus Edge at WrestleMania, but it's not going to be for the WWE Championship. Instead, WWE came to their senses and went, that feud doesn't need to have the WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre needs to be billed and continue to be built as the star on Monday Night Raw and as the guy on Monday Night Raw and he needs the WWE Championship. There was no reason for him to lose it. So he wins the WWE title, but then at Survivor Series, he loses. Now, of course, the circumstances in which Drew McIntyre lost at Survivor Seri Series, he's for, me, oh gosh, he's for me to say, is shaky at best. The way that Drew McIntyre lost at Survivor Series is, of course, you had the outside interference from Jey Uso, and you also had a low blow from Roman Reigns. So it was hardly a clean victory. It was a loss though, nevertheless, and Drew McIntyre has been heavily protected prior to becoming WWE Champion, and especially since being WWE Champion. Over the course of over the last 12 months, I mean like 18 months at this point, Drew McIntyre has lost cleanly like three or four times. It is very, very rare. He is highly protected as he should be as WWE Champion. The best champions of all time, the most dominant champions of all time have always been protected. Why? Because the biggest and best champions and superstars, they don't lose. That's how you build stars. That's how you build top stars. You have them win, 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 and continue to win. That's how John Cena got over. That's how The Rock got over. That's how Steve Austin got over. That's how The Undertaker got over by not doing jobs. That's how it works. That's how it works in building stars. That's how it works in MMA and boxing. Who are the biggest stars? They're the stars that don't lose that often. 
Drew McIntyre should ex be exactly the same. That's why he's facing AJ Styles at TLC, because you look at the opponents that were in that triple threat match a couple of weeks ago, Riddle and Keith Lee, they can't afford a big loss when it comes to their first chance in the main event for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles can. AJ Styles is bulletproof at this point. What do I mean by that? He's already been the WWE Champion on multiple occasions. The second time, he was nearly WWE Champion for a year. He is sorted. It doesn't matter if he loses at TLC. The stock of AJ Styles doesn't decrease or diminish just because he lost a WWE Championship match. When it comes to Riddle or Keith Lee, it does. If they lose that WWE Championship match, suddenly they're not credible. In addition to Drew McIntyre as well, if he defeats AJ Styles, which I think he will, at TLC, defeating a credible opponent like AJ Styles helps his credibility. In addition, the match itself is going to be great. I think a lot of people have wanted to see Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles for a while now at this point. They absolutely have. Once Drew McIntyre became WWE Champion earlier this year, a logical opponent, like a lot of people wanted, was AJ Styles. Now, AJ Styles has quickly moved to SmackDown because of the Paul Heyman drama. Now he's back on Raw, which I think everyone is glad about. And we're finally seeing the Drew McIntyre-AJ Styles feud. So I'm very excited for that match at TLC. What I do want to talk about, though, here as well is Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Now, before I do, obviously, John Morrison and The Miz are in this match. Is The Miz going to cash in the Money in the Bank uh, briefcase anytime soon? No. Of course, AJ Styles last week was trying to get The Miz to cash in because he doesn't want to face Drew McIntyre. Logic. I like it. Nevertheless, The Miz, for me, isn't cashing in the Money in the Bank briefcase for a while. I'm still going with 2021 after WrestleMania. Prior to Money in the Bank, he's got until May to cash that Money in the Bank briefcase in. I, I still think he could do it the night after WrestleMania. I, I really do. I was working with the idea that Edge would be the WWE Champion coming out of WrestleMania after defeating Randy Orton. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Nevertheless, I think The Miz cashes in sometime after WrestleMania. But again, he's a bit like AJ Styles in the sense that he's bulletproof. It doesn't matter if The Miz cashes in and he fails. It doesn't matter if The Miz cashes in and he wins. If The Miz cashes in and he fails, he joins the list of was it Damian Sandow, Braun Strowman, John Cena. It doesn't matter. He's The Miz. He's been in the WWE for what? Something like, when, when did he debut? Like 2006? He's been in the WWE for like 14 years at this point, right? If he cashes in and he loses, it doesn't matter. He's still got his position right there at the upper middle card kind of heel. He's He's got his position. It doesn't matter. If he cashes in and wins, he can slot right in. He can slot right into the main event, be WWE champion. He's done it before. Imagine the story of like over about 10 years apart of him being the WWE champion. That would be great. So he can slot in as the WWE champion. If he loses and cashes in, it doesn't matter. So he's bulletproof. Again, he's another one. Absolutely bulletproof. I just don't see him cashing in for a while. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Let's finish off with this. Obviously, the story is at some point Sheamus is going to turn on Drew McIntyre. That's the story here, isn't it? When is that going to be? After TLC, I would think. I don't think Sheamus is going to cost Drew McIntyre the WWE Championship at TLC. Again, right now, it doesn't make any sense to make AJ Styles WWE Champion. I just don't see it. What I do see is a Drew mcintyre Sheamus feud at the Royal Rumble. I do think we're going to get Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. The whole purpose of pairing who is a heel, Sheamus is a heel, pairing him with Drew McIntyre is eventually Sheamus is going to turn on him, right? The WWE Championship is the biggest prize in pro wrestling. So eventually money talks, greed will rear its ugly head and Sheamus will turn on Drew McIntyre. But I like the slow build. I like the idea of having a storyline, having a feud for the WWE Championship, but knowing that another one is, in, is, is very close behind Drew McIntyre and it's coming soon. I like having multiple things going on. It's not one-dimensional storytelling. There's different stories uh, at the same time. One's just progressing more quickly than the other. I like that. So I'm interested and excited for whenever Drew McIntyre and Sheamus do face off. Personally, I think it's going to be the Royal Rumble. When does Sheamus turn on Drew McIntyre? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it'll be tonight. I don't think it'll be at TLC. I think it'll be afterwards. We'll have to wait and see, though. It's happening eventually. It's happening eventually. So I'm excited for it. In terms of who wins this match, I would think, 
I would think Drew McIntyre and Sheamus win. There might be a, an attempt at Miz trying to cash in after the match. That could happen. I don't know. But I would think Drew McIntyre and Sheamus win. Regardless of the result, it continues to build a TLC, which I'm excited for. But of course, as always, this is just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on Drew McIntyre and Sheamus going up against John Morrison, The Miz and AJ Styles tonight in a three-on-two handicap match on Monday Night Raw? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Really enjoy interacting with you guys, chatting about WWE, Monday Night Raw, Friday Night Smackdown, all that fun stuff in WWE. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond and reply. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the like button. Really does help us out here on YouTube. YouTube, go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Wrestle News 365. You can do that by clicking on the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video, along with another video for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.